Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Shasha SJ. Thank you for coming by today. Today we are going to make another DIY items from the Dollar Tree. So you know, I just want to let you know that majority that I use here are from the Dollar Tree. Some are from my old old items that I have on my covers. So yeah, let's get into this and let's get started. Let's go. <music> Alright, so with this particular DIY that we are going to make, we are going to use this. This is from the Dollar Tree. This one, you can also get this at the Dollar Tree. Pretty, I like this one. Super pretty. This. I'm going to try to make an angel from this as well, so we'll see how it goes. And this one, you can also get this at the Dollar Tree. This item, I got this um, Walmart, but they also have something pipe, a fuzzy sticks at the Dollar Tree as well. This one, it's a pearl strings. And this one. All right, and of course a glue gun. First, we are going to open our ornament. And I'm going to use a red one because the lace is red. So this one, I'm going to use this red. So all you have to do is you just have to cut the edge right here if you can find a single ornament ball like this just single one you can use it too but all I have is this one and I kind of want this mixed ones because they are all in one bag for different colors so that's what I took so first all you have to do is before you do anything else you have to glue this one because this is super easy to come off so glue this one and make sure your glue gun is preheated already so all you have to do is just glue that so it's secure in there next is you are going to open the ribbon so any color that you want the wire edged one is better because it works so perfect if you can open this so now is with this you are going to have a two two of six inches all right so you have to cut them just cut them i hope i can cut them <laughs> All right, so you just have to cut them just like so and you cut them as well again. All right, so you got two of six inches. Now you are going to cut a one of eight inches, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to cut eight. That's eight. And nine inches. One of nine inches. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this one. All right, so two of six inches, one of eight inches, and one of nine inches, okay? So first, all you have to work on first is the two of six inches for wings. First, you fold them in half, like that. And then you put a glue in the middle After that, you fold it, you put them at the end like that, and you 
press it with your finger just like that and then this folded one right here will go to the other side just like so okay so you just have to put a glue down there and then press it all right so this end one in there that keeps opening you can also glue it just like so all right so you have a nice wings already okay let's do it again first fold it in half once it's folded put a glue in the middle here and then fold them like so and press the one that you just put on some glue press it down after that the one that you just hold on to needs to be on this side folded okay or either way or either way okay so I want mine to be folded here on that side so I'm going to fold it just like so all right and then the one that keeps opening you can glue that too all right so now I'm going to keep gluing this same way with this one okay <laughs> First, you are going to glue this together just like so either way because it'll be covered anyways here on this area so just glue them like so and the six goes like that and then they're glued together after that you put this head all the way to this one this side okay you can do that but I don't want to do that I want it like so like this and you can also help it out with the circular round-ish of that ball down here you can push it with a glue and what I like to do is I like to put a glue here be generous with your glue it will help very much <laughs> that is super perfect and next is you're going to grab the eight inches now you have to put them like so like that okay so what I want is I like to put a glue on the ribbon instead of here so I so then I know where my glue touches on the other side of the lace or the ribbon Okay, just like so, you just have to push it and help it out. Alright, so as you can see, it's already forming like an angel. And then you can always work onto the wings. Alright, next is you are going to flip it on the back, okay? Now you are going to grab your fuzzy sticks or your pipe and I'm going to match it with a red color. All you have to do is you are going to fold it circle just like this. Okay. And then twist it. Twist it some more until you reach it to the spot that you want so it goes right there okay so it looks like a somehow like that and then you just have to 
cut it down to how long you want. So I like it somehow like this. All right, and then you grab your stretchy ribbon. So in case if you want to put them on your tree, you have something to hook that angel that you just made. And then you just have to tie a knot. And then put a glue in it. And then put them right here as well. Be careful, it's hot. All right. After that, you can always see the area which one is nicer. This or this. So this one is nicer. So I'm going to glue that on the back. And you can glue the middle. And it looks like our angel got a little crown. Just like that. And they have a layered of dress. So next is I'm going to use this one. If you can't find something like this, the pearl string, you can also use the one that you have from this garland one. This gold one, you can also use that. Okay, but for now, since my angel is going to be red, I'm going to use this, okay? I'm just going to glue this in here like a bow tie. And then after that, you can add some bling bling if whatever you have. If you have a bow or something, you can use that. Right, so I think that's done. And our angel is beautiful. And you can always arrange the wings however you want it. And there you go. Your angel is done. You got an awesome, beautiful angel. Alright. There's our angel. Super cute. And you can hang this one like so. In the back. Super pretty as well. And they're super cute. All right, so with this bell, I'm thinking I'm going to remove this and I'm going to remove this once and possibly I could use that for something. So we'll see how it goes. Next is... I just have to remove everything in there and then possibly I could use a gold one all right to secure it first so that the head of an angel won't get fallen off I want to secure this with a glue gun After that, I am going to put this right here. There you go. And with this one, I'm going to use a gold as well so they match. Right? So right now I'm just playing around how my wings could go, how my wings, how far my wings could go, maybe like so, like that. And then I'm just going to do it like that. I'm 
turn it around like that. And I'm just going to cut them right here. And I think I'm just going to tie this end. Do it like that. And I'm going to glue it right there. All right. So there is my angel's wings. Next is I'm going to add a crown. Just like so. And this could be awesome for your topper, guys, on your Christmas tree. Alright, so with this, I am trying to make a something down there so it doesn't show this glue on the back of the angel right so they're more nicer and cleaner okay now that's clean and then we are going to proceed and decorate the front one so remember we remove this with this i'm going to reuse this and i'm going to work on this so hopefully it will work out right Just going to use my bling again. This is my favorite bling because they look so real. I'm just going to cut the back. And there you go. I got a beautiful angel. And remember the one that we just made earlier? This one. I like this one because it's layered too. There you go. And I made a burlap angel. This is also wired. And burlap ones. And this one, super cute. And this one. There you go. Yes, I really enjoyed making that little mini angels that would be perfect for hanging them on your Christmas tree and I hope that you will come back next time on my channel and thank you so much for coming by again. You guys are awesome and you have an awesome day. Bye!